Good morning and welcome to America's Home Cooking. I have been collecting onion peel leaves, which I've been telling you that I've been doing. And what I did was I put them in a container and I left them on top of my uh, refrigerator until I got enough. And then I put them in a bowl and I filled the bowl up and I rinsed them. I'm patting them dry as I can now. And your question is probably, what am I going to be doing with these peelings? Well, what I'm going to do with these peelings is I am going to dehydrate them. And then I'm going to use my spice and herb blender and grind it into a powder and use it as a seasonings. Because these onion peelings have a smoky, when you dehydrate them and blend them up, and you put them in stews and stuff or season with your meats and stuff that gives it a smoky flavor. So the peelings of the onions are really interesting and the fact that when you dehydrate them and blend them up, you have this nice smoky, onion smoky flavor, which surprised me. Uh, I have to get my dehydrators out uh, shelves so I can sit there and pack them on. So give me a minute. Definitely dehydrating these. And when they get really dry, we'll blend them up. Now, what's the temperature I'm going to set them on? Probably 125. And I will leave them in. I will check them after seven hours or so. I'm not sure of the, the hour time. Uh, you'll have to uh, sort of judge it in that aspect. But when they get really dry, that's where we're going to blend them up. I've already done one batch. I just can't remember, except that I did set it at 125. That's about all I remember. Well, mine doesn't have 125. I actually set it at 122. But if you have one that goes to 125, by all means, set it. And I'll show you one that I've already blended up. But you have to blend them thoroughly because you don't want any problems. Because if you try to eat them like this, they don't break down and you could gag on them. But once you dehydrate them, now, for people who sit there and say, I'll buy it in the store, you cannot buy this in the store. This is actually something that you're going to have to make, if you wish. Some things for people who uh, dehydrate and stuff you can't buy in the store. You actually are going to have to do it or just bypass it and say, well, I can't do this. They have a lot of dehydrators that are reasonable. I think the most expensive is Harvest Right, but that's in the thousands and that's really expensive. But it's well worth it if you're going to be using it 30, 50 years. I'm 71, so it doesn't make sense for me to have something like this, like that. Just think you add another seasoning to the world of your seasonings. I think that's great. Is that it? 
That's it. Okay, let me move you over here so I can get this done. Sorry about that. Almost knocked you again as we move around. Let me see. Okay, my phone's fully charged. I had you charging while I was doing this. Okay, I'm going to talk about some cheese. I bought two cheeses. I bought Brie, which is from France, and I bought Camembert cheese, and this comes from Normandy. Now, this cheese and this cheese, Brie, are almost identical, but there's a slight difference to it. The Brie is more of a mild creamy taste. This one is more an earthy creamy taste and that is the big difference of the two. They're interchangeable but if you like a little more of an earthy creamy taste I think the uh, brie is smoother. This one is the one you want because it has a stronger earthy taste of the two. This one I'm using today because I'm going to have lamb sausage today. So I think that that will be really nice with it when I get it done. And uh, that is pretty much it. <laughs> so listen, take care and enjoy your day. Bye-bye.